Hey, this is Silicus, and today I'm going to be reviewing the CEM Storm. If you like my videos, please subscribe, click on my ads to support me, I'd really appreciate it. Back to the mouse. So, today, obviously, reviewing the Inferno. This is the middle of the line mouse for CEM Storm. This being the Inferno, the one above it being the Sentinel, and the one below it being the Spawn. The Spawn has an optical mouse, the Inferno has a laser mouse. A little bit about lasers compared to optical. Optical, when you pick it up, it tends to turn off. It doesn't fly all over the place. Laser, whenever you pick up your mouse, sometimes it tends to slide off. So for instance, if you are an FPS gamer that plays on low sensitivity and you pick up your mouse and move it over, sometimes you'll see a jump. Kind of annoying for those of you who pick up your mouse a lot. I'm more of a Twitch-based gamer, so I don't tend to pick it up as often. Uh, however, some of my buddies, they pick it up. They all prefer a mouse that doesn't do that as much. Uh, this one is pretty good about it. I don't notice it as bad uh, as with some. Sometimes if I clunk my mouse back down, it'll shake off a little bit, but elsewise it's pretty good. One of the other great features about uh, this mouse is that uh, it switches sensitivity really fast. Some of the other mice that I've had, when you click it to change its sensitivity, it takes forever. So when you change it down for DPI, Sometimes that split second will be enough to get you killed in between, you know, running around with a machine gun and switching over to a sniper or vice versa really helps, um, especially with movement involved. So, back to packaging. Uh, as you can see, the box is pretty standard. It looks similar to the spawn and the sentinel. So it's a pretty small box. I'd say just a little bit bigger than my hand here. Uh, the inside of it opens up, showing you the mouse. Obviously, specifications about it. On the side, different languages about it. More details in the back. The fact that it's a 4000 DPI mouse comes with 11 programmable buttons, 1000 hertz polling, 1 millisecond response time, that being wired makes it really fast. Uh, it's got 128 um, kilobytes of memory, which is uh, pretty nice for staging your settings. Uh, the mouse itself looks like this. Uh, the button in the center being able to help you trade, change profiles. Obviously each profile can turn on and off, and you can change each color separately, the uh, front headlights. Uh, you can have it in rapid fire mode, which is kind of cool. Makes it, uh, you know, turn on and off whenever you click it. The front little headlights. I'll just pan down to the bottom here. You can see my. So it's pretty nice. I'll change uh, some of this, some of the stuff on it real quick, so you can see. You know, it flashes whenever you click it, which is quite kind of nice. Uh, the inside of it has the uh, obviously the logo. Bottom side, nothing too special here. Has the actual laser itself. A little, little bit about the mouse itself. Serial number. It's got buttons on the side, buttons on the other side, on the edge right here. Uh, you can turn up sensitivity here. Each button here is actually fully programmable. Uh, one of the nice things about this is, like for instance, if you uh, are like me and you like to bind a lot of things to your mouse, sometimes games won't recognize, let's say, like this mouse on the side, this mouse button on the side. It won't show up no matter what you do to bind it. So you can go to the software and you can actually bind it in the software so that way you can use it inside your game even though the software from the actual game doesn't recognize it. And it stores it on the 128 kilobytes that is actually built into the mouse. The mouse has a nice, pretty solid braided cable. It's actually quite long, so which is nice if you keep your computer off back behind your stuff. You can reach it. It's not super, super short. It's not ridiculously long either, but uh, you know it spans quite a distance. <laughs> uh, it has um, lights on the side right here that tell you what sensitivity level you have it set at, as well as shining me in the face with lights. Um, nice thing about it is it has, you know, 4000 DPI, but you can turn it down really fast because it's pretty important. The uh, box also comes with a set of the actual uh, drivers themselves. You can go on the website and you can download there. The new CM Storm website is a lot better. You can actually find the drivers a lot easier. Uh, the driver suit itself for it is great. You can do macros, scripting, change the lights, macros, independence, everything like that, uh, as well as change your hertz, polling, y-axis, x-axis, anything you would possibly want to spend time on doing. The actual scroll wheel itself is pretty s solid too. I always like to talk about that because everybody likes a little bit of a difference. The uh, mouse itself is pretty hefty, goes into your hands. It's pretty heavy, all things considered, so if you like a heavier mouse, you'll probably like this one. Mice are very, very uh, uh, personal in a way that you, even if the mouse gets a ton of reviews and it may be okay, you may love it. So it's, there's some basic things about a mouse that obviously everybody will like differently, the weight, the size, the way it contours. This one's pretty nice. It's uh, 
you know, covers my hand pretty well. I've got long fingers, so mine goes just over the top. So depending on the kind of gamer, you might really like it. Once again, this is Silicus. This is my review of the CM Storm Inferno mouse. If you like it, please like me, subscribe to me, and if you'd like to support me, click my ads. Thanks. Take care.